Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we will learn about creating a Maven project in NetBeans 12.4 as well as adding dependencies into a Maven project using Maven. So, uh, I'll uh, double click on this uh, NetBean to open NetBeans. Now I'll click on this file and uh, new project and here you can select between different projects so we will discuss the java with gradle and java with and in a later session but now we will create a java with maven project so i'll click on this java application and click next and here i will give it a java with maven uh, as the project name and now i'll uh, finish so now the project is created as you can see it here java with maven uh, now let me close these other projects so I'll uh, close this one as well as this uh, on JDBC MySQL close and now I'll uh, go to this uh, project file and you can uh, see this uh, palm.xml and here goes our dependency we can add our dependencies here but we will use a different method for adding dependencies but first we will find some dependencies for us so for that I will come here to this uh, Google Chrome and I will uh, use Maven repository and search this now you can select this one you can find dependencies here and uh, but I prefer using Maven Central and now here I will search for my schedule connector my SQL connector and now if I search now I, it has given me these different uh, connectors these are drivers on my SQL server and now um, I have opened this first one so I can add this dependency by copying this and adding this into my pom.xml but I will use the dip uh, the other method so for that we need this uh, uh, I will come to this uh, uh, need bean and uh, click on this uh, dependencies and I'll click on this add dependency and here it uh, takes this group ID uh, artifact ID and version so for that I will come to this Google Chrome and I will copy this group ID from here which is my SQL I'll control C this and I'll control E it here and then it takes the arti artifact ID so I'll uh, copy this control C this and now I'll come here and control V this and then it takes the version so I'll come here and copy the version as well this is the version so I'll copy this and I'll come here and I will paste it here now if I add this now you can see in our pom.xml this dependency tag is added as well as these uh, group ID uh, my schedule connector Java and this version is added now if I expand this uh, dependencies now you can see this my schedule connector Java which is downloaded and uh, added here so we have added these uh, this MySQL connector uh, Java dependency now I'll come to this source package and here I'll create a new Java file so I'll use uh, Java class and now I'll uh, name this uh, connection and now I'll click uh, finish so I'll add a main method into this so for that I will come here uh, and use a uh, public static wide main and now here I will use a uh, string augs and now I'll use this now why have I have created this class so 
that we can check that uh, we will add some code here so that we can check that this uh, mysql connector dot java dependency is added and it is work so for that i will come to this uh, google chrome and i will click on this uh, uh, home page and here i'll go to this uh, j connector example and here obtaining connection i'll come here and now i'll copy this code from here up to here i'll control c this and now i'll go to netbeans and i will control v this in our project now you can see that um, all of these are showing error because we haven't added the imports so for that i'll come here and i'll uh, copy these imports i'll control c this and now i'll go here and paste it here control v it here now you can see this connection is not working because I haven't copied this connection so I'll control C this and I'll uh, control V it here and uh, now you will see that all the connection all the errors are gone except this connection error so it is because of this uh, connection because we have this class name as well connection so i'll make this my s is cable and now i'll uh, rename and now you can see all the errors are gone and our um, this dependency is working properly so that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.